Coach Niemad told me in preseason that he, you know, talked about trying to shape the offense around Malcolm's skill set, you know, and that's your job to do. What does that mean to you? And, you know, and without giving away state secrets, I don't expect you to tell me inside intel, but in general. I mean, the kid can't be a battering ram like we've had in the past with our quarterbacks. He's know, not Will Worth. He's not Zach Eaton. You no, know, we have to be smart, you know, um, play to his strengths. Fast kid, obviously great in space, you know, so he got to do things more that fit him and things that would help him last the entire season. So that, that's what we're doing. Um, you know, things are going well so far, you know, and uh, again, we continue to work. And can you talk in general terms about what that might be without really giving away secrets? Without you know, no, I mean, it's, it's nothing really. It's just kind of go back to what we've, we've done before. It's just I mean, being more triple, you know, not, not being more quarterback power, you know, just, just kind of taking some of those things out that we've done before, you know, with, uh, with our quarterbacks, you know, being being heavy, you know, run guys, you know, just try to spread things out a little bit more. Mm -hmm. um, Get the guys right eight backs more, you know, and uh, try to be more balanced, you know. So and, and that's the plan. All right. So obviously, you all have incorporated a lot more zone read stuff, and at times, like the year before when he played quarterback during SMU and all that, zone read fit him well out of shotgun. But last year, is that something that just teams start to figure out and how to plug the gaps, or do you have to do it a different way? I mean, you got to find different ways of doing things. Um, like anything else in office, people are, people are going to adjust, and we have to adjust. You know, so the things that we, we did the year before, and then last year, people adjusted too. So we just got to do a better job. You know, we mm -hmm. got to go back and watch the film, um, again, tweak things here and there, and um, just find a way to move the football. But but again, it's, it's it's nothing major. We're just trying to make some little changes here and there. But the biggest thing we have to do is just play to Malcolm's strengths, so he can play fast and so he can last the whole season. All right. Well, and obviously we've seen when the kid gets an open field, if you give him a crack, some space, mm -hmm. he can go. I mean, that, that is undeniable. Yes. And that's kind of what you, you basically are saying. We've got to fig, be, figure out the best ways to, cr to create those open. But also, too, I mean, our fullbacks, our A-backs, receivers have to all be part of the game plan as well. Again, just trying to be more balanced, you know, get the ball to our A-backs. We have good players. You know, at the A-back position and, and those a receiver position and fullback. You know, so we just got to find ways to get those guys the ball. So again, so we can be more balanced. So Michael's not carrying the ball, you know, 30 times a game again. Because if he is, he won't last the whole season. Right. Um. And uh, I think uh, in terms of the triple, how's he coming along with reading the triple and all that? Because he's had more time at quarterback now to start to understand, you know, his keys, etc. You know, I go back to the 2017 SMU game, his first start at quarterback, that they lined up in three different defenses, and he was able to execute right down the field on our first drive and had a great game that day. He's a good quarterback, um, and he reads it well. And again, for him, to me, it's almost like when we moved Tyco Smith there. They're such good players, they just walk right in and adapt. He moved over there and didn't miss a beat. You know? mm -hmm. So, Kim was just repping it, um, the triple, and then what we do and help him get better at reading. But again, the whole offense, uh, a backs, B backs, you know, and uh, our receivers all have to contribute, and uh, it's got to be more balanced. When he got five starts, I believe it was under his belt last year at mm -hmm. quarterback. That's got to help him, right? Do you think there's a benefit that it will move, go moving forward? I mean, the, the key to it is always having someone come, you know, come at that that has experience. You know, obviously, you know, we moved him. Again, okay, we fell a little too early last year. You know, but, and could should have stuck with him, but again, okay, we uh, made a decision. You know, but again, he does have experience. You know, and right now. He's excited about playing quarterback. It's something that he wants to do, you know, so he's um, he's committed to it, you know, and it's all we need right now. When well, speaking of commitment, I mean, I think Coach Nehemiah's also committing to him, and he's not going to have to worry that if he has one bad game, and like exactly. an Air Force, which really wasn't his fault anyway, um, he's not going to be moved. He's the quarterback. He's a quarterback, you know, and again, the most important thing is that that's his mindset. It's his mindset. He's coach I'm the quarterback you know and right now that's the best thing for us we're gonna get him ready to play make sure we find a backup you know so, so we have two guys ready to play this season um coach Nehemiah was mentioning about trying to possibly incorporate some run and shoot principles if you old talk to Johnson back when he was in Hawaii and you were there mm -hmm. a lot of it was kind of based off a of, lot you know they threw the ball a lot in Hawaii didn't they yes yes we did you know, so again, this offense can have you can have that again it just comes down to Malcolm feel comfortable with it you know in our passing game he's gonna find things that he can do that he feel comfortable with. Because the thing I don't want him doing is throwing routes or something that, that he doesn't like. So mm -hmm. it's, it's always your better offense around your quarterback and what he likes. And we're doing that. And uh, things look great right now in the game, but we got a lot more work to do. Well, Coach Strassmeyer and I were talking during practice. And if you watch him in practice, he throws a nice ball. There's times when he puts it right there. And what we were saying is he got to carry that over to the game. The confidence he shows in practice has to 
carry over? Well, we're doing that in drills. I'm getting more pressure in his face, you know. Um, make sure that he understands having guys in front of him where he has pressure, where he can keep his eyes downfield, learn to keep his base, you know, and, and not get happy feet. So, again, right now, right now we're in the early stages of it, but we're working real hard. Um, he's getting better. We're getting the right looks, putting pressure on him so he can keep his base, keep his fundamentals and uh, mechanics and, and be sound. And do you tell him just trust what you see and let it let it fly? Trust it, throw it, and again, it's always about technique and trusting what you see and letting it fly, exactly. All right, thanks, well, Coach. What does it mean to you when Coach Nehemiah comes out prior to spring ball and says, Malcolm's our quarterback, we're sticking with him, this is his job, and we're going to do whatever he can to make him be successful? How does that make you feel? Uh, it feels good. I mean, obviously, whatever whatever position I'm out here, as I'm be giving my 100%, you know, give my all there. But knowing I'm playing quarterback, um, it puts me in that mindset. I'm not like wondering which which position I'm playing and stuff like that. Right. I'm the quarterback, I'm the leader of the team and stuff like that. So it just gets me in that, in that mindset earlier. So I think that helps a lot. What are your goals for this spring, Malcolm? Um, goals, uh, minimize errors. Um, I'm starting to m realize the little things and stuff like that. Stuff that Coach Jasper um, puts up on the board, I'm starting to bring it out to practice. Uh, I think that's that's the biggest thing. I want to take uh, the classroom onto the field. So I think I'm, thinking I'm working good on that. So. And obviously, Coach Nehemiah mentioned to me in preseason, and Coach Jasper just reiterated that we're going to try to build this offense around your talents and you know do do things that will take advantage of your abilities. Mm -hmm. I mean, kind of talk about what that means to you, and then you know how you you know reward that confidence. Mm -hmm. uh, I think it helps a lot knowing that the coach trusts me. Um, he's trying to put me in the best posi position to be successful. So um, just. Putting the effort he's putting in to help me be successful, putting that same effort in to being successful. So. Right. With regard to the triple, I mean, obviously a key element, the Navy's always going to run triple option plays, read triple option plays. Mm -hmm. How do you feel? You got games under your belt last year. How do you feel about the reading elements of it and be able to run the triple you know, the way we all know it can be run? I feel good. Um, those games definitely helped last year. Uh, I'm way more comfortable than I was last year. Uh, under center, in the gun, anything like that. So I, I feel really good uh, reading it out, and you know, I'm seeing things a lot better. And then Coach Diamond also mentioned me about incorporating some run and shoot pass principles. I mean, Navy needs to have a pass game. Your thoughts on what they're doing passing wise? And you know, I saw you out there today. You threw some nice balls. Mm -hmm. I think it's just like uh, you know, the games last year, getting some balls out of my hand. Um, it goes the same as like just reading reading the uh, defense and stuff like that. So um, throwing the ball, I'm feeling a lot more comfortable, just like I am reading. Uh, you know, the triple and stuff like that. So just getting out here, um, throwing the ball, being loose, stuff like that helps a lot. And I guess the greatest thing is you're healthy and you've got a whole spring. You can get some valuable work in the spring camp, can't you? Exactly. You know, that's been a problem the last couple of years, uh, my health. So they'll let me run around a little bit, throw, run, you know, get a little bit of contact, not too much, but I, I like it a lot.